Hi, this is Bruce Collins with Cambium Networks. Uh, today we're introducing the new EPMP 3000L access point. This is the latest access point in the EPMP portfolio that uh, supplements or complements the EPMP 3000 that we recently launched. Uh, what's different about this one is it's an 802.11a C-Wave 2 base product. So it has all of the, uh, the new latest technology that comes with the EPMP 3000, but it's in this smaller package and it's a 2x2 two two, uh, solution. So it does not include the things like MoomIMO, uh, and the dynamic filtering that comes with the EPMP 3000, but it's really excellent at solutions like micro pops, low density sectors. Uh, if you really want to extend your network into new areas, uh, you don't want to put up a full tower with EPMP 3000s, um, you can put this out at the edge of that network and, uh, and it complements that coverage that you get from the full sector. Um, it is synchronizable, so you can sync this with a 3000. So if you have full towers with uh, four access points in a sector, um, you can complement that with these micro pops out at the edge. Uh, for connectivity, you can see it is a two by two, so it, rather than the four by four you get with uh, uh, the 3000, it's a two by two MIMO solution. Um, and it uh, can interoperate or connect with our 90 slash 120 degree sector antenna. It's got the, it comes with this adapter and you can just click it onto the back of the uh, sector antenna. It's also compatible with those RF elements twist ports if you want to put this on a horn antenna or some other solution. Um, so certainly any kind of connectorized uh, approach you, you want to take. As far as interoperability, it interoperates with all of our Force 300 uh, uh, subscriber modules, which are 802.11 AC Wave 2 based. And with backwards compatibility, you can also talk to your Force 180s, Force 190s, Force 200s, which are the 802.11 N solutions. Very excited about this solution. It's uh, available now. Um, if you want to learn more about this product, you can go to our website. Uh, you can visit our community, post questions on there. And then also there'll be a full webinar on this that you can view the recording if you're not able to attend it uh, while it's happening live.